After using 12 volt charger on lithium 100R SLA flooded and AGM batteries I found the setup and app extremely easy to use and helpful. The issue I have is when connected to battery and then plugged in the charger stays in bulk mode for less than 5 seconds then switches to absorption to complete charge to float. The current never gets above 10.6 amps but voltage will go to 14.4 volt. Doesn't matter state of discharge. Never below 50% the current seems low and charge time is longer than using my $35 charger. Purchased this as a battery test charge for an $800 lithium bank but would not but another. Victron is great but not this one. The unit works to recharge my lithium iron phosphate batteries but I was surprised at how hot the unit got when it's on bulk charging. It took about 9, 9, 1 stroke 2 hours to fully charge a 100 amp hour through all the phases of charging. I wish the price was a little lower but I wanted a unit that would do a proper job of charging lithium iron phosphate batteries. Update the 20th of February 2021 recent iPhone app Victron connect update and can't connect to devices. The pair number doesn't work. After an hour or so I got the monitor to work after a reset but the app doesn't allow to enter the PUK for the charger. Of course I went through all the steps they suggest. What could be great products are so full of bugs and issues. We are converting our van and setting up a separate power system and leaving the van system for running it. No connection or overlap at all between the two. This works great right now to keep the battery born lithium battery charged while we install the solar panels. And it will be a backup if we can't get enough out of the panels. I have the adapter permanently attached to the battery but most of the time the charger will be in the box I made for the battery and other electronics.